Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, man, listen, man. Uh, Boss Talk 101, man. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. I just looked at, uh, um, just uh, walk, looked at TMZ and seen that little baby was arrested uh, for a, a weapons charge. I believe it was in Las Vegas. But anyway, let me, let me see what they're saying. Hold on. Let me read this. It says, T TMZ reported this. It says that... Uh, the rapper real name was uh, Dominique Jones, was arrested Monday night for carrying a concealed weapon without a permit of felony a haul and hauled off to the Clark County Detention Center where he was being held for a $5,000 bail, which is really not that much. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police have yet to release details about the alleged crime, but we'll update you once we get more info. And I got my guy, OG Piru, Ayatollah Marv is in the building, man. Uh, good morning. Good morning, good morning. What's going on with you, e? Man, I'm just sitting back checking this out, man. I couldn't understand what the heck is going on. But look like little baby ran into something here this last past week. We, I, had to be when we was all up there because uh, it said, well, it could have been Monday as well. So at the end of the day, whenever it was here recently, they just coming out with the details. Um, little baby uh, basically had a, was carrying a firearm up there. Um, what is the, I mean, do you think that that's something that he needs to do? Why would he not hire security? Just give me some insight on what you think about little baby carrying a weapon. Just like you're saying, this is, this is so uh, idiotic for these, these rappers, these black entertainers. Now, it's all right if a cracker walks around with a gun, they're never going to do anything to him. Black, rich, young Rappers are targeted. And why are you carrying a gun and you're not using it? If you saw the police, why didn't you start shooting? What are you just carrying a gun for? Just walking around here thinking you hood rich with a bulge out the side. No damn well, wherever you go, the police is going to be on you like. So what was you think? You should have crashed out. You think he's supposed to start busting? He can't do that, OG. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> What you got a gun for if the police see you, he gonna start shooting. He's trained to shoot, you just carrying a gun. I bet you he ain't never been to the range, he don't know how to shoot. What the fuck he got a <laughs> well, I don't know why he has a gun, but I have seen it with different people, you know, uh, gun uh, shows on on on, t on the uh, YouTube. So I don't know how much uh, he go to the target practice or range, but I can tell you, them boys are walking in a fearful place when they're carrying a weapon and they're in these other cities. Now, he can, I don't know if I agree with him just busting at the law, but he definitely don't need to. He need to have security. I mean, and that's what I mean. That's who support you're supposed to have a stunt dummy or at least one of your partners that'll take the case. You know what I'm saying? You should never have a gun on you unless you're gonna use it right then. Why are you walking around Las Vegas? That's the safest place in the world. So he, he he probably feel like some people know him. Everybody looking at you, trying to take pictures with you. You don't know who like you, who don't like you. He might have read some of the comments. Who knows what this guy's thinking when he's walking around Las Vegas? Maybe with his just his girlfriend and himself. Maybe he don't have his entourage. How do these guys get I peace? Comments. I read comments on me every day. I should be having a, a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to jail just for having a gun. If you can't, he ain't worried about no comp. It's that hood. Well, I'm gonna carry the gun myself. I'm gonna put my work in, and you go to jail for possession of a gun, not for shooting it. That's dumb as hell. No, I I, I, I agree I'm with you. I, I definitely agree with you that he should have used another way to express I'm going to keep myself safe. You know, uh, these guys are artists. Look at look at the rappers that have done this. You got Boosie. He got caught uh, allegedly with a, you know, with a gun. Uh, they charged him with it. And uh, you got all these guys. They're that's targeting you. They, every time they see a young black rapper, they know he's carrying a gun or got one in his car. And they know it's not legal. Wake up, dummies. Wow. So you, you just, he should have, like you say, don't care unless you're going to draw down on the law is what you say. Man, if you got a gun and you know it's not legal, you're supposed to shoot everything coming your way. The police should be your main enemy, not one of your fans. Wow. So you, you think, oh, I, I, I got where you're coming from, you know, um, 
You ever been in an incident where somebody got caught with an illegal firearm around you ever? I I haven't. That's not something I have ever I mean, dealt I, with. I didn't, I didn't got caught for using them. And shoot, I'm, I'm telling you, I mean, it's no sense. And I mean, we get caught with guns every day, you know, because it's just a look about you that real people know that who you are. And now everyone's targeting black rappers. Oh, well, we know they got a weapon. We know that. And they run down on where they give white folks way more leeway than they give blacks. Okay, well, what's, what's the solution? The solution is if you got a gun, use it on everybody. Whoa. <laughs> so no turning back. If you got a gun, you if you're an entertainer, you're in the limelight. Ain't nobody. How many? When, when is the last time? Uh, um, little baby. Little boy go, goes to um, Roscoe's and gets killed up and coming in California. Think he ain't got to check in. He P and B Rock. P and B Rock. Yeah. So he didn't. Well, why didn't he have a gun coming over into the snake pit? Yeah, so you saying that it's it certain way you got to How important is it to know how to move out here, OG? You've been in these streets for a long now, time. Now, now that's lesson one hundred and one: how to, how, where to move, and how to move. In some places, you just ain't supposed to be. Yeah, because last night I was rolling, I was coming home, and I saw the motorcycle club. So they got a little thing going in the motorcycle club, but I didn't know exactly who was in the club that night. Right? Yeah. So now my curiosity, I wanted to roll up there. When I came back around and I looked up in there and I'm like, I didn't see anybody actually I knew, but I knew supposed to be some people from Las Vegas. But I was not going to take the chance last night and run up in there and get in a conflict or something. It's some things you just got to pass. Common sense. Wow. So you, I, I, I definitely understand where you're coming from. These guys are definitely targeted. These guys are definitely people who they see, you know, that uh, celebrity status, whether it be the police, whether it be people who own these businesses, the casino, the people that run the casino, they know who these people are. They are very, very intelligent on who's coming into their hotels. Um, and I get it where you say it's not, it shouldn't have been taken as a threat as Cardinal where he was going. I don't think he was even, he wasn't down out there on the outskirts he of Vegas. He, Vegas. he out there, he out there at the casino more than likely or somewhere in the city. I don't, more details are coming out. That's probably right on Las Vegas. Oh, I watch it, man. You think he was on... <laughs> Right. Stop it, OG. You say he was right there. He might have been on Flamingo with Las Vegas Boulevard. Right there. With, with the showgirls. He ain't supposed to have, he should have had a, a, a water gun. <laughs> he watching at the, at the Bellagio watching the waterworks, huh? That's what he should have been doing. Man, thank you so much, OG, man. I just, like I said, I had to ask you about that this morning, man. I appreciate you for uh, calling. Telling the young rappers, man, to hire the Pinkerton detectives on. Get they get a stunt dummy and let him carry the gun. You shouldn't, man. When we was on detail, I I can bail out. Ain't no sense in Bobby Brown going to jail. Ain't no sense in Mike Tyson going to jail. Ain't no sense in Barry Hankerson going to jail. I've been there. I know how to do it. Wow, man. Do you guys agree that? Like with OG, OG says that they 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 got to move differently. These rappers, why are they moving like this? You you if you're gonna carry the gun, you should have turned it on the ones who who took the gun from you. If you're gonna be carrying it, anything goes. Once you take that gun, and you go out there and take things in your own hand. Uh, do you guys think that little baby should have hired security, or should he just should he banged it out with the laws? Let us know, man. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, Boss Talk One Hundred One, man. Little baby, we watching you. Let, let us know what's going down, man. Get in the comments. Let us know what's, what's happening with this little baby thing. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk. Boss is talk. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.